Hello, my name is Jenna Brown and I'm here with ECTV at the Rose Performance Hall and I'm here with Melissa Ludke who just gave a great speech and she told us a little bit about her past in sports journalism um, and you just wrote a new book and you were telling us about how it has to do with women and gender stereotypes in journalism in sports and everything. Could you tell us a little bit about what you hope to you know tell people with about the book? Well, I'm, actually, I'm actually still writing it. It okay. isn't out yet but it will be out um, hopefully in the next year or two depending on how quick I write it. But essentially I'm going back to my own experience back in the mid-1970s when I was the only full-time uh, woman covering baseball, Major League Baseball, at the time, and ended up not uh, through my choosing in a court battle uh, with the baseball commissioner, Bowie Kuhn, and that came about during the 1977 World Series, when after getting permission from both teams to enter their clubhouses, which I had a credential allowing me to do, he took his um, sort of uber authority and decided that he would ban me not only from both of those clubhouses during the series, but he threatened to say that that would be a forever ban on all teams in baseball. And he believed he had the authority to do that. Um, after trying to negotiate with him for several months and finding no give at all on his side, he was steadfast that this was never going to happen under his reign. And I say reign because he was basically the king of baseball. Mm -hmm. Um, we had no choice but to go to federal court, and we went to the Southern District Court in uh, Manhattan, a uh, fairly famous courthouse, and out of the 25 judges that were on that uh, bench at the time, through a random lottery system, we drew the only woman judge, Judge Constance Baker Motley, and um, she had been the first woman in the 250 years of that of Southern District Court, which is the mother court of our country, mm -hmm. um, to sit on that court. So she, by random, became our judge. And um, we were successful in arguing our case before her. Mm -hmm. And so her decision, which baseball threatened to appeal, they ended up in the end deciding not to appeal after a three-judge appellate court uh, ruled against them. So that decision basically became the decision um, that really set the pace for women to feel that they could come into sports writing and be treated with a sense of equality in terms of the access to doing their job. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really great. And you know, you've had a major impact on, I'm sure, a lot of women journalists. Um, coming here, talking to college students, what kind of advice do you have for any females going into sports journalism? Well, I ended my talk today um, essentially on the note that there is a lot of equality of opportunity now, in part because of my case, in part mm -hmm. because of the work of, of many women um, you know, who have come through my era and others. But really, we still see that women leave sports writing uh, sooner than men do. Mm -hmm. um, there are a number of reasons that relate across a lot of societal issues and workplace issues. It may have to do with family. It's a really rigorous job to be traveling all the time. But the other thing that I really focused on at the end of my talk was the way women are still treated. Mm -hmm. um, and treated on social media, treated still by um, some of the people in the sports business. Mm -hmm. Although I have to say that unlike my time, um, the leagues are the first to stand up and say when a player is out of bounds, which some still are, mm -hmm. in terms of their treatment, they're the first to come down and say we won't accept it. But yet we still see in the NFL, for example, um, a lot of instances where players who are involved in domestic violence and abusive situations, um, you know, are, are treated as heroes. Um, it's true across college football. So. I would say that like the girls on the bus and covering politics, it's the same for um, you know the girls in the press box in terms of sports. It's still a tough, challenging business to be in, but we've made enormous progress and we now have, I'm happy to say, women in the broadcasting booths um, doing games. Amazing. And that really is um, where most people see the intersection of sports. So that's a huge accomplishment. We've moved from the sidelines to the broadcast booths and we're still writing the stories. So I feel that's a good, good progress report. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming to talk to us. I'm sure you made an impact on so many people. I'm sure many people were inspired by your speech today. So thank you for sharing your time with us. Okay, well, thank you so much. Really All right. fun. Thank you. Back to the desk.